hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Luka Iduma and in today's video today's video is going to be an academic life update it's been a while i've like done an update and giving you people like was like the 411 like going on around like what's what's happening are you still doing a degree or not and i wanted to also do like an academic update just because a lot of you ask questions and just send me like a lot of dms on instagram like ask me about the program you know who, what is an imsis who is an imsis what is an erasmus what does the program entail what's like your career path after school which i do not know but try to give like an answer that sounds smart because I do not know like what's gonna go on after this master's program. So I just say rather than just answering everybody's question individually, I just make a video about it. So I am a master's student at the University of Glasgow and I'm doing an MCS program. No, I'm, a, I'm an Erasmus student and my program is an MCS program. So an MCS program is an international master's in security in security intelligence and strategic studies it's a whole sentence and sometimes i just have to like pause and really think about it s what comes after s i then s but is it it's <laughs> i can't even get it right it's security intelligence and strategic studies so i'll be having an international master's in that and um I'm also to an Erasmus student. An Erasmus student is simply an exchange an exchange student within the European Union. So um, my first mobility was in my host university, which is the University of Glasgow. I had a good time there. And then my second mobility was in Dublin, where I schooled in DCU. And my last mobility was supposed to be in Charles University, but <sighs> life. So I, my program is 24 months. I actually regret picking the program that is like 24 months. I don't regret like the course. I'm really enjoying it. But I regret that it's 24 months. Like it's such a long time. And when I was like filling out my application, I'm like, 24 months will go by just quickly. And my God, 2020 doesn't even want to end. <sighs> it's still November. I can't wait for 2021. Like literally cannot wait for 2021. Like nobody's excited about 2021 than me. Yes, I said it. No one, no one. If you're trying to compete with me, you're competing with yourself because I'm on the top of the food chain. Uh, <laughs> but um, the Erasmus program is a really, really good program just because it lets you not just, you know, move around Europe or move around the EU. It just enables you to like encounter new people, new cultures, and you know, get to live and experience different cultures. And then the Erasmus program also to offers you internship opportunities. I cannot generalize about all um, Erasmus programs, but my personal Erasmus program, like the IMSIS program, does offer you, you know, internship placements in different parts of Europe, Asia, you know, Africa, like they really, really try as much as possible to, you know, give their students a lot of opportunities to like pick from and work from and they're like top, top places. So um, I would say that if not for this program, I don't think I would have gotten work experience in this extra special cool place that I got. I cannot lie. But it's it's a good experience just to like live not just in one place but in different different places. That's what like the Erasmus program does offer. But then it does come with a lot of challenges because you just you cannot really settle and make a particular place your own. You can't really even get to explore like the cultures and places you get like because you're in a particular place for just a semester, probably maybe three to four months and after three to four months you're like uprooted and you get to leave to another city so you don't fully get to like enjoy like enjoy the city before like when you're beginning to enjoy it they just take you out of it that's what i'm trying to say but other than that it's okay but it's super super stressful because you know you're dealing with schoolwork you're dealing with trying to Get your visa application i'm speaking from an international student perspective i'm speaking as a non-eu student because eu students you know you don't need a visa but for like us international students coming from africa or you know india or 
Asia, like wherever we're coming from that is not in the EU, we really have to like double school work, we're looking for accommodation, we're looking to get the visa. So like it's a lot of work and then I do know that my university, the University of Glasgow and even DCU, like other universities that uh, within my program they do try as much as possible to make the visa process easy for us but at the end of the day it's not so easy even getting like you know accommodation is quite quite difficult and like the last mobility like i was supposed to be in check i'm currently now in nigeria because of covid and i'm not doing like my third study mobility i decided to switch semester so right now i'm like working on my independent study and probably maybe next next year february i will then like do like my study like go to prague go to charles university for my um, last mobility and i didn't actually know i could actually switch semester so when they did like say oh you could switch semesters i really really jumped on the offer mainly because i'm not mentally ready to start studying online and i'm not mentally to, mentally ready to to go for another semester i just chose to switch semesters just because i felt like i was really really under pressure because even before the semester started like i was trying to get my visa here i was trying to look for an accommodation here and then people in prague really find it difficult to give you know nigerians i don't know accommodation because once you say you're coming from nigeria they really stop talking to you instantly i'm not saying they're racist i'm just saying for some reason once they hear I'm from Nigeria, they just stop talking to me and even you might just think oh, maybe it's coincidence because I do give people grace but you know you're talking to them, you're telling them okay thank you so much I'm about to pay the deposit, um, they even tell you they're coming to pick you up in the airport and once you're not telling them oh are we coming from Nigeria, <laughs> business has closed, they're no longer communicating with you but I don't know what that's, maybe it's the people I met but it was just overwhelming because nobody was giving me accommodation and um, my visa process was so so stressful medical reports good report verify all the bobo work it was just so a lot like i was almost drowning then plus trying to pay my school fees to going to the bank to do that everything was just a lot and i just felt like just just to be sane let me just you know switch semesters when they did make that offer i just felt it would just be best for me to just deal with just my project and just release like the workload. Although I know that next year I'll be doing a lot of work because I'll be doing both project and school, but I felt like I'll be in a better mental state to like tackle this semester because I always want to give every semester, every mobility my 100% and I just felt like I won't be giving like Prague my best. Like I'll just be giving it maybe give or take 70% because the students right now that are doing their study, they are really going through a lot. I would have mentally broken down. So I just felt like um, I needed to rest, slow down, really pace myself because while we're doing like the break, I don't know, I was just trying to keep myself busy for some reason, but I was doing a lot, like a whole lot. And it's not like academically a whole lot. It's just, you know, just trying to do YouTube, do more videos, do more of this, bobo wear, a little bit of academics here and there, take more courses. Like I was just doing a lot of bobo wear. It wasn't even making any sense while I was while I was so stressed and feeling overwhelmed like during the holiday and I was just taking in work. Something that felt like work to me. And when it not came to actually work, I just felt drained and mentally stressed out. So I was really, really glad we could switch semesters and like it's a lot easy and you know i've started a dissertation process i don't know if i should tell you about the dissertation process it's been it's been something it's been something but then i would tell you that going through a dissertation your supervisor really really helps you a lot in how much stress you feel or how much anxiety you'll be feeling because my supervisor ah god you've been good my supervisor is super super chill like super super chill chill like he doesn't really give me a lot of stress and i know what having a stressful supervisor looks like trust me 
like if my supervisor is watching this i love you sir like i love you you really instilled to me this work ethic i have like this man drilled me to the bones but he left me wiped out so i do know what having a stressed supervisor feels like because i had that undergrad in the undergraduate level and you know he my supervisor my current supervisor now he's currently really making it very easy for me like he gives me a lot of like feedback like constructive like do this do that oh why don't you do this why think about it this way that way but it's it's really really good and refreshing because i'm that kind of person that i love criticism like i'm never satisfied with oh that's fine that's okay like i always want you to give me your feedback for me to actually improve on my work i would never like i might come up as that person like oh why are you giving me that kind of feedback but i'm at the end of the day, I would just say that just to say it and like go back and like sit with the work and be like, how do I make this better? How do I improve this? And you know, he gives me those, those constructive criticism. But like when it came to my proposal, that man shocked me because I wrote it with the expectation of more feedback. Like I just wrote it like, let's just write something. And he said, write, let's write. And submitted and i do know that my writing is not strong that's why i always seek out feedback because i know i'm not the strongest writer in the whole wide world like i can write something and you just see me struggling to make my points like you can tell this student has a point to make but isn't making it yet and just seeing that he liked the proposal i was like damn it's a problem here. Somebody appreciates my writing. This is new. Not like it's a problem, but like I was just super shocked. Super, super stoked at the same time, but super, super shocked and pumped to work and really, really work my hardest because this dissertation is, she's my baby girl. Like, she's my baby girl. I'm truly, truly hoping that I do a good work. Like, the degree aside, my dissertation is something that I really want to do well in and um, I see myself like developing in like having a career around my study like you get like I'm really looking forward to doing more work more study around what I'm trying to do and uh, I'm super pumped about this project I'm really open to learning like when reading and studying and all that like I really, really look forward to this dissertation finishing, but at the same time, like writing it and just learning. Although, like, there are a few hitches here and there, but hey, I'm up for the tax. And yeah, so bringing it back to, to I don't know if I actually made everything super, super clear with the Erasmus points, but as an Erasmus student, that is not a scholarship student you're entitled to a grant but bear in mind that this grant doesn't like cover your fees or anything it's just like little little stipend and like you know just to keep you moving and rolling you know just to buy some you know croissants here and there it's not like you're balling money like it's not for you to just say i will spend my money because it's not even the amount is not even up to like that kind of amount that will let you ball you get like you're not going to like enter you know, Adidas website and shut it down, never. Not with that money, never. Um, <laughs> but then there's like the internship opportunity, there's the stipend, and overall it's, an, it's, it's actually a good program because I won't lie, I have lived in Nigeria all my life and I have this kind of notion that everybody in Africa are kind of alike. And, you know, just, you know, being in the program and meeting people from, you know, different parts of the world and different parts of Africa like I'm really really learning and unlearning things like we don't have the same culture we don't have the same seasons even in the same Africa we live in like let's even forget about the Obodo Yibo like I really learned a lot about my own continent considering I live inside it I didn't know anything about it like I used to think everybody has Hamatan and dry season but apparently some places even have snow and it's just like a good thing to just you know get to meet different cultures and you know get to meet different people like people are really really different but not so different you know and just learn you know that cultural competency kind of part to it and the program really teaches you to live with people and to be able to work with people from different parts of the world and i'm truly truly appreciative of it so far so far so far what 
I just wanted to like give you people like the 411 and I'll be graduating next year, hopefully next year, October. Like I'm super, super ready to graduate. I have even bought my list, my peach weight list is ready. Ah, I just need air to get a nice tailor that was so my graduation wear. I'm gonna look like a cake. Like I'm gonna look amazing. Whether or not the graduation is online or offline, I'm going to wear my graduation cloth because it's going to be epic. The cloth is going to be epic. The hair is going to be epic. Like, <laughs> you know when they say pepper them? <laughs> I'm going to murder them. Like, they're not going to see me coming. <laughs> I'm pretty, really ready to graduate. But like, I don't really have so much plans for at the moment for like after masters and all that but like i do know that i wouldn't be pursuing any other academic career like my academic career has this here like after masters i'm done and it's something that during the holiday i had to really really sit down with and really ask myself you know what's next after this and everything just seemed like okay the next step is a phd and you know my parents really do want me to study that they really really have so much confidence in my mental capacity these people think i am brilliant if you say who is a chikobi they will point at me but hey phd man that's in the dangerous vara we have to think about it but it's not even about thinking about it and like it being difficult or hard or anything it's just Something I just felt like was supposed to be a next step for me, but truly isn't what I want and isn't what I truly desire at the moment or even at all. Like, I'm even open to doing like another master's, but not a PhD. And I don't know, it's something like I, I could never imagined, imagine saying, you know, like, because two years ago, three years ago, I would tell you that, you know, after this program, I'll go for my PhD, but I really want to, like, get work experience, because I have never actually gotten any work experience, I've never worked anywhere, like, I've done, you know, slight internships here and there, but I cannot even say I worked during that internship, because, you know, I was, like, an undergraduate student doing internships there, and they were giving me, like, mediocre work, you get, even, like, after, like, doing NYC, I did work like in a Gangnam place, like I worked like in a serious research institute, but still at the same time too, they were looking down on like our ability to actually do research and not knowing that we have sense, which is offensive. But I don't feel like I have really, really worked. I don't feel like I have I've tapped into my true self. Like I don't think I've tapped into my sense. I don't know if it makes any sense. But I truly want to work. I don't want to be unemployed. That thing scares me shitless. Because it's not even about having a master's degree. People really think, okay, once I have a master's degree, I'll be able to get a good job, blah, 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 blah. It goes beyond that. You get like people, I know people that have master degree, master's degree and they are unemployed. And I truly don't want to be, I don't want to be unemployed. Maybe that's because... I'm not that kind of person that you can keep not busy. You get, I love to be busy. I love to have something doing. Like, I love to like go, 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 go. That's how my spirit is. My spirit is not inside. Like, my spirit doesn't sit down. Like, my spirit goes. And I really want to walk after NYC. Just, you know, maybe three to five years, you know, just walk. But where? I do not know. I do not, do not know. But, hey. We will see in the next update where I could walk. But well, I'm excited for next year. Next year I finish. Next year I do have like an internship opportunity. Hopefully, do like fingers crossed. Fingers crossed on that intens internship opportunity because if COVID is still around, I cannot do that internship. So COVID is really holding that internship, and I truly want to work there. I truly want to learn and it's not like I want to even work there during the internship I want to learn like I want to immerse myself in the work and you know draw some like so much knowledge live there like feeling ha, I'm filled with so much wisdom and knowledge but at the same time too I really want to give myself to the organization and really work my hardest because I never want to leave a place um, never want to leave a place and the people don't feel like 
I was able to impact them you get like I always want to have that give and take relationship regardless so I'm excited to go and collect so much wisdom and knowledge at the same time give the little of which I do know if you have like any other question like for me I think I would actually um, maybe in the future like do a, a comprehensive video like being an Erasmus student and like the Erasmus experience here but then this is just a little bit of it I know it's everywhere like I seem like I'm like talking really fast and I'm everywhere but I do want to like do like a dedicated video with like other of my classmates just so that people could actually understand like what the program is and understand um like different experiences but overall I would say so far I'm enjoying my experience so far I'm super super stressed so far you cry yourself to sleep but at the same time that is the game and we are all here to play the game like that's just what you know education entails and being in school not, not what education entails what being in school entails it entails a lot of blood sweat and tears and I've done a lot of crying and this Erasmus program like it stresses me out especially like when it comes to like moving from country to country carrying your load from country to country is so so stressful but i wouldn't have it any other way but thank you so much for watching and listening to me um rant about my issues but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video if you have any other question about what i've spoken about leave it in the comment section or like send me a message on instagram or something like that so that i could just like answer it one-on-one -on -one. but thank you so much for watching i hope i could make i can make an updated video about it and just you know what it is like studying abroad or as an african studying abroad i would love to do that those kind of video and more in depth but for now thank you so much for watching and i truly truly appreciate you stopping by